the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the New Orleans Saints. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and we are underway from the Superdome oh a good looking return set up here and all in all a pretty solid return nearly got it to the 35 they'll mark him down officially at the 34 the Saints heading out for the first time and there's Derek Carr at quarterback in his 11th NFL season now and second in black and gold and Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play, second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Here's Carr. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Second down, and it's Kamara again. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And it is caught. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 21 yards there on third down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now Carr. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. 
to throw it's Carr completes it to Perry call it a gain of three on the play and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Over the middle complete. That's Perry. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Stuck for the loss by Devin White. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. From the gun, it's Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Carr. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Perry. 19 yards is the pick up there, but even with that, they're well short. It's fourth down. Well, I think everything was impressive about that one, except they didn't get a first down. But I like their field position now after that play. Yeah, now you got a pretty makeable field goal opportunity. So Carr departs and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off the season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. Here's Hurts to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. Second and ten. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Burt sets up to throw it. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. 
Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Carr. Alave holds it in. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series fights through and now a crease. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The clock running here. Under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's Carr to throw. Into the hands of Perry, complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Alave over the middle. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. Now a second and ten, as they've got it as we resume action. Carr going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Throwing now is Carr. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up converged on his man and broke the play up. 
And his kick is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 0 as they begin with a first down. Throwing his hurts. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. First down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Going to be caught downfield by Dotson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, it's Hurts. Going right back to Dodson. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. They're going to look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jahan Dotson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are an extra point away from capturing the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw touchdown
On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and they take the lead at 7-6. to six. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. To throw his car. He completes it to Alave. And he's able to get it all the way down to the 20. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 53 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Now Carr. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. But they've certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Here's Carr. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Juwan Johnson from a yard out. And the Saints have regained the lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did... Speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. And he puts this one through as the lead moves to 13-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Jalen Hurts bringing the Eagles out for their next drive. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle here to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. This pass hauled in by Dodson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and now it's third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. They'll look to throw again. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jahan Dotson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from moving out in front. In the second quarter, and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
The Saints offense and Chris Alave getting set to take over once more. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now Carr. They'll get this out to Kamara. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he's up to the 43. Carn out of throw. That is incomplete. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw again. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's Carr to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Normally, you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Now, play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. To throw, it's Carr. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now, Carr again. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is indeed good, and they have regained the lead. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, 
but still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. They'll throw now on the final play. That one downfield for Dotson. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. For the Saints, this is why they signed him. They got a strong performance from their quarterback, Derek Carr. He was on point, throwing a touchdown pass to help his guys take the lead into the break. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Complete. Smith has it. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there for Philly. 44 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Throwing his hurts. Out route pass. 
pass complete to Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Saints offense and Derek Carr ready for this next possession. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. To the left side, complete. That's Perry. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, And he's got a first down. Now Carr. Johnson's got it complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. From the 48-yard line, here's second down at a yard. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Again, it's Johnson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. Kamara up the middle. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Open man left side. Shahid has it. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Throwing now is Carr. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. 
And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Car going to throw. That'll be taken in by Shahid. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 25, here's a second and four. Car to throw again. Alave over the middle. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here. This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. Slot man moves right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he stopped immediately there. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Toss wide side. This is Camaro. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. From the gun, it's Carr. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A.T. Perry from three yards out. And the Saints have retaken a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Dennis Allen going to go for two here. He's leaving his offense out on the field. Carr will look to throw. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Hurt sets up to throw it. Quick slant, Dotson. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. And this is going to be incomplete. Is that the incorrect read or just more an error on the throw by the quarterback? I lean more towards the latter because it seemed like he was open there. Just missed him on the throw. And a tough one to miss because now you're dealing with a fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. To throw his car. A quick throw there is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Car now to throw. Completes it to Perry. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Hurts to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. This will be caught once again by Brown, and this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and three. Back to throw. This pass hauled in by Dotson. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Hurts. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Brian Brzee fought in and got him down. They were trying to set up a screen there, but that one just too slow in developing. Yeah, too slow in developing and well read because that ends up being a bad feeling for the quarterback. When he's got no blocking in front of him, his guys are just going to let defenders go, and they're coming for him. So if it's not there, you just got to throw the ball at the turf at your running back's feet. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. He'll look to throw. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And that's off the right upright. Thought it might sneak in, but it did not. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. So this game's had a little bit of everything. Here's another little something. A potential game-tying fourth-quarter field goal that winds up hitting iron. And there's always the chance that it's going to hit and bank itself in, but no such luck that time. And that's a body blow right there. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they caught a break with that missed field goal. Instead of being tied, they now sit in the fourth quarter driver's seat, still up three. That's complete to his running back, Camara. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From just shy of midfield, here's a second down and four. Carr. To the sideline and incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and four. Now Carr. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. 
And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. The Eagles offense back out, getting set for this next drive. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Throwing his hurts. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Brown goes in motion left. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. They'll look to throw here on first down. To Barkley on the check down. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he let him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Back to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Already a terrific receiver, Brown has taken his game to another level since arriving in Philadelphia. He's totaled just under 3,000 receiving yards over the last two years, and he's someone who raises the ceiling of the entire offense whenever he's out there. His goal for this season, get Philadelphia back to the Super Bowl with a chance to win it. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Back to throw again. Throw right side complete to Dotson. And down inside the 15 he goes. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first and ten. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. 
Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They'll come up now on second down. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now first and goal. He's back to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Elliott good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down 28-24, a little over 40 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing his car. Connecting with Johnson. The Saints get a call the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Car. It gets this complete to Shahid. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll come up first and ten here. Car to throw. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. Oh no, he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. This is first and ten. Here's Carr. 
The throw right side here going to be incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You're having to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Carr. That's caught by Johnson. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. To throw his car. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. The point after, good by Groupie. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's first down. He'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, 